You know how it is, you're trying to have a chilled out day and an Elemental goes and drops version 3.16. Well, it's the beta version actually, and there will be a link in the video description for you to go and have a look at this. Now, in terms of the improvements of what we're getting is the most important one is that containers are gonna be activated by default. When you start a new website, it's always gonna have Flexbox containers. Now, don't worry if your website is section, containers, or a mixture. You can still use sections if you want, and you can deactivate Flexbox containers. You would obviously just go over to Elemental Settings, Features even, and you would deactivate it there. Now, if anyone does wanna get the Elemental beta version, you do have to go to Elemental, go to Tools, Go to version control, scroll down and ensure that your beta testing is enabled. You will see Elemental Pro 3.16 Beta 1 is now available. And that's what you need to use if you want to test anything out. Another change is the gap between elements. Now we are told that this is going to be renamed to just be the word gap. At the moment on the beta version, I still see gap between elements. And the idea is, is that when you increase or decrease, it will affect the spacing between the rows and the columns or the containers as well. So now when you do this, it's not just gonna apply it in one direction, it applies it in multi-dimensional directions. Another big change we're told about is performance improvements, faster TTFB or time to first byte. And if you are checking out your website on page insights or other performance metrics, you might see like a bit of a delay or something that says, hey, your time to first byte is quite slow. They have done something in here within Elemental that's meant to improve this. Now, I can't test this out at the moment, but I'm looking forward to seeing if this is true, especially if it helps to make our websites faster. They've even improved the infrastructure of the menu and tabs. Uh, it tells you here that they've now produced unified DOM and that it's more accessible. I'm not entirely sure exactly what this all means until I really play around with it, but there hasn't been any changes in the customization or how it works or functions, but apparently it's meant to be better. That leads us on to accessibility enhancements. Now I did a video a few days ago and I've done many on web accessibility and how I take that really, really seriously and how we need to be catering for the wider market, okay? They've gone and done some improvements in here that are going to help uh, screen to text or text to screen readers. Um, so it's really, really good news that Elemental are taking this seriously as well. The notes feature that came out last year is also in the editor top bar, but I don't really use the notes bit, so I'm going to move on past that. Overall, we're not seeing a massive influx of new features like we have in recent times, but this is more about improvements, especially from the accessibility point of view and the time to first buy, if that is a serious improvement, I'm all for that. So this is just a quick, my take on the Elemental 3.16 beta version that is out now for you to go and test and play with and do what you want with. I'm Imran Web Squadron. Like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win your life, have no shame. There's no time, feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win at life, I never miss that. Step.